Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Bishalach. And after the Jewish people were freed from Egypt, after they went into the desert and crossed the sea, and they sang their beautiful song, their shira, the Shirat Hayam, a smaller episode takes place in the Torah. And the Torah tells us, Vatikach Miriam Hanavia, that Miriam, the prophetess, Achos Aaron, the sister of Aaron, as Hatof Biada, she took the tambourine in her hand. And all the women of the Jewish people followed her with their instruments of music. This is the first time where we're identifying Miriam as a by her name. Until now in the entire story, she was only called the sister of Moshe. And more important, this is the first time that she is given a title of Miriam Hanavia, Miriam the prophetess. Suddenly she has a name, suddenly she's a prophet. And the answer is that when the Jewish people, the Jewish women, looked back at the entire story of the exodus from Egypt, they realized when they looked at Miriam, wow, she caused everything. She made it all to happen because it was her that saved her brother Moshe, a baby, by taking him and putting him in a basket in the Nile and watching to see what would happen with him. Why was she a prophet? Not because she saw the future. She was a prophet because she saw the present. She was a prophet because she was able to look at a little baby at a time when babies were pushed away. They were thrown into the Nile, and even the Jewish people said, let's not bring any children into the world. It's a bad time. Miriam said no. One child can save the Jewish people, and one child could save the world. This is the highest level of prophecy that a person can get to, to see the present. We are all little prophets, and we, we all be privileged to see the greatness of our children and everyone around us. Shabbat Shalom, Umevorach.